Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe, join the fam. Today, I'm just gonna be taking you guys along with me on a typical day in my life, a productive day in my life to be precise. I am gonna get a lot of stuff done today and I'm also gonna like tell you guys some tips on how I stay productive and motivated. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first tip I have for you guys for staying productive is to keep your spaces clean. So whether that be your room or your office space or somewhere you do your schoolwork, just try to keep everything neat and organized because then you'll really just be focused on doing your work and staying productive rather than like being distracted by the mess. So I'm going to do my laundry right now just to get that out of the way. So now that my laundry's done, I think I'm just gonna clean up my room overall, make my bed and just like tidy up around. I just came downstairs and realized that I have some dishes that I didn't do from my breakfast this morning So I'm gonna do those dishes now My dishes are done and I'm really craving a matcha latte so i'm gonna show you guys how i make that so here we are at the coffee bar so the first thing i do is i take a cup and i fill it with a little bit of warm water and then i grab my matcha this is the one that i use it's david's tea vanilla matcha and i just grab like around a teaspoon of that Put it in the cup, maybe a little more. And then I take my little frother stick thing, this is from Amazon, and I just whisk it all together like that. I really like doing that because it prevents the matcha from being like clumpy and gross, which I'm not a fan of. And then I take barista oat milk, and I fill it to about there. And then I take this vanilla syrup, pour a tiny bit in. And then I take my whisk again and mix that all up. I also really like how this like froths it a little, so it's a little frothy. Then I top it all off with some ice. So now that I have all my cleaning done, I have my matcha latte, I'm gonna sit down and do some schoolwork, which brings me to tip number two. Always make a to-do list for every day. So this was my to-do list for today. It's not the nicest, like it's not super like clean or whatever, but it works. And these are the things that I already did. So I already did all these. And then I just have this to work on, but it's not due till Monday, which is like four days from now. So probably won't start it right now, but this is honestly one of my biggest tips. And one of the biggest things that helps me stay productive and organized for school. Every week I make one of these. I have just like a little notepad and pen and I use my planner and at the beginning of every week I stick one right here and do like a little to-do list of everything that I have to do for that week. And another thing that has helped me stay productive this whole year is my planner in general. So this is my planner. It just has like every month here and then see this thing also helps if I need to flip to the page. 
And I have everything that I need to do for each month. So like, for example, this is the month of April and I just write down all my assignments color coded for each of my classes, everything that's due every month. So that's April. And that's just one of the big things that helps me stay organized and productive. And it also just feels really good to cross out what you've completed. It also helps to have a nice workspace. So this is what mine looks like. I have my laptop, a little calendar that I don't use, those cute little plants, my notepad. And then this I use for like bigger assignments. If I have like, I'll write down like every assignment for the month if I have a lot to do, just cause writing stuff out always helps me like get less stressed about them because when I just think of what I have to do in my mind, it seems like a lot, but trust me, once you write it out, it really isn't that much. Like I always get really stressed when I have a lot of assignments, but then when I write it out, I'm like, okay, they're actually all like two weeks apart and I have time to do it all. So that's why I write things out. But now I'm just gonna get some schoolwork done so you can watch me do that. Okay, this is probably really boring, so. So I finished my schoolwork and I'm now taking my dogs on just a like short walk just up and down my driveway which brings me to my next point which is move your body at some point during the day whether it be going for a walk or doing a workout honestly doing whatever just get up and move your body because when you're sitting at home especially now it gets really repetitive and you can feel just like super unproductive and lazy so just moving your body for like 10 to 20 minutes a day can make a huge difference so that's what i'm doing and if you can do so outside that's probably better to get some fresh air i mean when you live in canada and it's like negative 20 degrees it's not as easy but you know we do the best we can so so i wrote out some tips that i thought of of how i stay productive so i'm gonna read them out to you guys the first and probably the main one that has helped me be be productive is waking up early i used to wake up probably like around like 9 30 10 now i wake up probably around like 7 30 or 8 and honestly it has made the world difference the world of a difference it made a big difference okay when you wake up early you just feel so much better and you get things done early in the morning like today i literally got so much stuff done and I look at my phone and it was only 11 in the morning. Imagine if you were to wake up at 11 and then do all that stuff. The day's basically over. So that's my first tip. My second tip is to do small things. So a lot of people think that when you have to be productive, you have to like go finish an entire essay for school or go do an hour workout in the morning. No do small things for example clean your room go on a 10 minute walk do 30 minutes of schoolwork, and then you feel like you've accomplished so much when you really have just done a couple small things but you're still being productive you're still doing things third tip have a good routine routine is key for me at least so in the morning i have a nice little morning routine that i have set up for myself probably within the past like month and a half, I've really like solidified it. And I think I'm gonna do a morning routine video probably soon because I used to not really have a routine, but now I feel like I do have a good routine. So in the morning, basically right when I wake up, I don't go on my phone. I make a conscious effort to not go on my phone. I like leave it, I just wake up. And then I write in my journal. Now, hear me out. I used to think this was stupid too, like journaling, journaling really but no it's actually very helpful and scientifically proven to make you happier so basically what i do is i keep my journal beside my bed and i whip it out and i write in it anything i want whatever i'm feeling um how i want to make the day a good day i write what i'm grateful for i write my goals i write things that are on my mind that i want to get off my mind anything you want you can write in a journal. So that is what I do first thing and then it's out of the way. I have all my feelings written down and good to go. And then I go downstairs and I make myself coffee. This is crucial, crucial step in my routine. I honestly don't even really feel more awake after I drink coffee. It's not a caffeine thing. I don't think caffeine really affects me in that way. 
It's just a routine thing. I just like getting up, coming downstairs. I'm always the first one down here, except for my dad. He's usually the first one down here. And then I am, and I make my coffee, and I go back upstairs, and then I will usually listen to a podcast. That's another tip. Listen to motivational podcasts. I listen to Emma Chamberlain's podcast. That's the one I'm listening to right now, but there's a bunch of other good ones. Really good to listen to podcasts in the morning to get you in the good headspace for the day. All right, my next tip is to get dressed and like get ready for the day. So don't stay in your pajamas. Don't stay in your bed. Get up and get ready for the day. This way you'll feel more inclined to do stuff that you wouldn't do if you were in your pajamas, like go out and do run some errands, you know? Next tip, I already said move your body, but even better would be to do that in the morning, right? When your body wakes up, go on a little run, a little jog, then you come home and you can go on your laptop for the whole day and do work. At least you got a little movement in the morning. Next tip is limit your social media time. I've been really trying to do this and just like not mindlessly scroll through TikTok because I know that is like a huge thing for a lot of people and we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing it because it's real. What is it bringing into your life? What is the benefit of sitting there and just scrolling mindlessly through TikTok? Nothing, no benefits. And my next tip is to follow motivational and inspirational social media accounts like on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube. I'm trying to see where the lighting's better. Follow people that motivate you and inspire you to be productive and be happy and all these things. Don't follow people. Don't follow people who you compare yourself to. I know it's hard. You want to check up on their account and see how good their life is and be like, oh my God, my life is horrible compared to theirs. Look at them. They're literally like perfect. No, they're not. I can tell you that right now. Most people who portray their lives as perfect and productive and just great, it's not true. So if you find yourself constantly comparing yourself to a specific person on social media, unfollow them. Because once again, what does that bring into your life? What are you benefiting from that? So that is it for all my tips. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers, sort of. I really want to get there soon. So please subscribe, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.